let, let's look at the composition again, yes. uh, which, uh, well, when it was re reeled out, we just realized that we have more politicians uh, that you want to call politicians in that particular composition, because if you look at the 37 that will be coming from uh, each state plus Abuja, and you also look at uh, conference of speakers, conference of uh, past senators, uh, past governors from geopolitical zones. By the time we lump all of this together, we're getting almost uh, 60 something. And uh, looking at what uh, the NBA and some other groups like uh, persons living uh, with uh, disabilities, uh, they have also talked about that. So, how did we arrive at all of that? Because if people are saying that we have more politicians or people who, that have had political offices in the past making this composition, don't you think is almost a replica of? the National Assembly? No. Those who have said there are more politicians there are not being sincere. And they, are, they, are not being, they are not being objective. Now, elder statesmen, 37, elder statesmen are not necessarily former politicians. We always think that unless you are a politician, you are not a leader in Nigeria. I just realized that, uh, well, maybe it's my age, almost all the elder statesmen I've known, they've always been in politics or supporting one government or the that, other. That is not true. That is not true. I, I can't think of one that hasn't. I can think of several. And I can mention several. Maybe you help me by educating me. Okay, suppose I mention, no, just to, for, this, for, for example, what about Chief Emeka Ayaoku? He has never been a politician. He's held high public office as Secretary General of the Commonwealth and so on. He has served Nigeria in many capacities. He has never been a politician. There are many in that category. So we don't, we don't always, we shouldn't always confine ourselves to thinking only of politicians as leaders. There are many people who have never been politicians, who have never been in politics, who are eminent Nigerian statesmen and deserve to be considered as elder statesmen. But you would agree that it's imperative that we have people of that such character and not people that have actually uh, been in politics or have a thing or two with uh, some political parties in the past. No, well, some of them will be there, but they are very limited. If you look at the modalities, the politicians are very limited. For instance, the only category of politicians there is we say every political party should nominate two delegates. And we mentioned five political parties, be the political parties in the that assembly. have representatives in the National Assembly. So on the whole, there are ten politicians there representing political parties. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. that's yeah. really a safe sailing, you no, know, no, no. that they must have representatives of the National yeah, Assembly. Yeah, other, otherwise, there will, be, there will be hundreds of political parties. <laughs> that we, we have husband and wife political parties mm. who, are, who registered and, and were registered. They too will claim that they want to be there. They, you have to look at a way of, you know, of rationalizing these things. And have you received any complaint on that? Because some people will tell you that there are some political parties that maybe won elections at their ward levels, but never... Then, uh, then they are not important enough to go to fall into this category. Oh, dear. Yes. Because I'm looking at it again, former political office holder. Uh, yeah, if I'm going through it with you, I'm, you. I'm, I'm, if you're not in a hurry, I'm going to go... I'm going no, to we're not in a hurry. We're not. We're not in a hurry. <laughs> so, for instance, when you look at the modalities, elder statesmen have said these are not necessarily politicians. The retired military, I'm sure you will agree that these are not, these were never politicians, but they are relevant. In any conference of Nigerians, they should be there because they, they provide security for all of us. The security of the entire nation is, you know, we are not sure unless they are there. So they must be happy with whatever outcome we come, come up with. They too must be part of it. So retired military, retired police, retired security personnel, they are there. They are not politicians. Traditional rulers, they are not politicians. They are there. They are represented. The labor unions, the NLC, TUC, these are not politicians. At least by my definition, they are not politicians. But some of them are involved in politics. Well, maybe just in their own personal capacity. But they are coming there at least to... Uh, Labour is a very vital segment of the population. Oh, well, Senator, are, are you really, you know, whether or not they are politicians, does it really matter? Because at the end of the day, isn't the politics going to be discussed? Well, it's you people who say there are too many politicians. That the the fear saying. is first that people are wondering if people will be able to set aside. Because right now, even with the mix that we have, 
you know, where you're going to have people of, from all from all walks of life, yes. all sorts of people, both the yes. old, the middle yes. age, the middle class, you know, you have all sorts of people. Do you really think that we will be able to move forward with this type of composition? In fact, that is the, that is the composition that reflects Nigeria as it is. We cannot deceive ourselves saying that we are having a national conference where we don't rep re represent all interest groups and all shades of opinions and all stakeholder groups. It is the presence of all stakeholder groups that gives legitimacy to the conference that, yes, this is a conference of Nigerians. If we exclude vital interest groups, then we are not, they can claim that we are not there. And these are important Nigerians, like women groups, for instance. They are not politicians, but we think women are so important that women groups must be amply represented. Youth groups, these are not politicians, like the NANS and National Council of Youth. These are not politicians, they are amply represented. How do we know that they are not politicians? Eh? Well, let's, not, let's not go into that. I mean, well, whether, I'm whether not showing you that it is wrong to say that majority of them are, of the delegates are politicians. Majority are non-politicians, but they are vital stakeholders. In the Nigerian project. How do you think the agenda is going to be set? Who's going to determine what this group will discuss and how they're going to go about Our report, it? the report of my committee already set out a tentative agenda okay. for this conference. But it's, we say it's not, it's not exhaustive. It's not exhaustive in the sense that people can add more. We are not saying that because we have set out this agenda, you cannot add more or you cannot subtract. So we have set out an agenda that is a 30 something point agenda, which if we look at our full report, we have set out this agenda for the conference. But when the conference meets, in their own wisdom, they can add more items. Do you see people also, do you, do you, do you fear a situation where people might begin to conglomerate into little ethnic, I mean, begin to look at ethnic affiliations rather than the bodies that they represent when this conference is going on? Do you think that that could happen? Well, of course, look, that is, that is one thing that people who are clamoring for ethnic nationalities conference often overlook. Every Nigerian belongs to an ethnic nationality. You agree with me? So we have 492 delegates. There is not a single one of those 492 delegates who will not belong to an ethnic nationality. Yes, but there's also the fear that then there will be, you know, uneven representation. If by some, you know, chance they begin to conglomerate into little little ethnic nationalities and they are, and they are forming that instead in fact, in fact, of that would be very unhealthy yes because the issues people should go there no matter what uh, what platform they use to go there yeah they should go and look at the issues to be discussed the issues to be tabled if for instance we are talking about federalism no matter what platform you use to get to the conference you should look at federalism and we we'll see what what kind of federalism do we need how can we improve our federalism to ensure that we truly have a federal republic of Nigeria. That our, our name is just, it's not just federal, just in name, but federal in terms of structure. And, and character. But so, to, therefore, people should not concentrate too much on the ethnic nationalities when it comes to discussing the issues. When it comes to discussing the issues of uh, resource control, when it comes to discussing the issues of what kind of government, of the, of the political structure of Nigeria itself, People should not concentrate on their base or their narrow ethnic nationalities, but rather concentrate on what is the interest of Nigeria. You know.